Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new here, hi! My name is Natasha, and it's fantastic to have you here. For today's video, we are talking about the new moon in Aquarius, the first new moon of 2023, and it's also the Lunar New Year, so multiple new beginnings are happening, which we will discuss in just a moment, and then we will transition into a collective tarot reading to see what advice the cards have to say. So with that, please know that this is a general reading. Take what resonates and know that there's a message in here for you somewhere. And as always in the description box below, I will link all the decks that I'm using in this video. And there's also a link tree that will provide you all of my social media links as well as my Etsy shop where I do private readings. All right, let's get into it. So as this card says, the new moon is all about new beginnings, planting seeds, setting intentions, and a new start. So a blank page. So this is a double whammy for the new beginnings because it is a new start to the lunar new year, as well as just a new moon phase in general. And it's also in the sign of Aquarius. So it's a little bit more, <laughs> can kind of feel a little chaotic, but with all of this energy, it to me feels like a big uh, buildup. And then I feel like it's just going to release real quick. So you might already be starting to feel a lot of the effects of a new moon, such as excitement, um, possibly confusion, but like that energy buildup is probably what you're feeling as well. So this is a good time to forget about the past, like let it go uh, <laughs> and just focus on the future. And with the new moon being in the sign of Aquarius, this is a really interesting time to be thinking outside the box into what you want to set your intentions as, set your goals up. Um, think outside of the box, like think really hard about where you're at and where you want to go. Again, leave the past behind. It's done. It has happened. And now we're moving on. So let's talk a little bit about the sign of Aquarius. They are very creative. They love to be original. Um, they are super progressive. It's a sign that takes humanitarian issues very seriously. And they are ones that start innovation toward uh, that healing route to uh, better the humanity. They're the the marchers. They're the people who think about technological innovations to help the whole of humanity. So this is the sign to really talk about radical change and radical things to believe in yourself and like radical goals, like things that maybe you would never think to achieve. Step forward out of your box a little bit and start thinking big. Um, very steadfast in their beliefs, though. Aquariuses can, you know, be hard to change their minds. Uh, once they stick behind their uh, notions and their belief system, that's it. It's very hard to change their mind. And they're also very good at being detached. They can kind of take a situation and detach emotionally from it really well because, again, Aquarius is a sign of air. It's not a water sign. So a lot of people think that it is because they're the sign of the water bearer, but it is, an, in fact, an air sign. And so there's a lot of intellect behind this. And one of the traits that can be a little misleading is they can seem aloof because they're attached. So you might think them not interested or not caring, but it's more of they've got their mind going 100 miles a minute. They are very much wanting to keep moving forward. And that's what this new beginning is all about moving forward. It's time to step into this change that is happening. It is starting already. And this is kind of the time to just let it happen. It's not the time to be very controlling about how this change is going to happen. Let yourself relax a little bit behind the steering wheel and be a little bit more detached about it. Think again outside the box as to how this change is going to be for the better of you and kind of allow it to flow and happen. Um, again, we're talking about letting things go that were in the past and we're moving on and focusing on the future. This is a good opportunity to do things a little bit more independently, think a little bit more about how you're going to go about your goals and your intentions, and know that you can do things on your own. It doesn't mean that uh, you 
can't ask for help, but like allow yourself to be a little bit more independent and detach from things a little bit more because that's the Aquarian way. (laughs) And there's another thing here to be charitable and to be yourself. So being charitable here with this radical energy uh, of the Aquarian uh, sign is very much about like, what can you do to help your community, help your family, help you yourself? How can you be a little bit more charitable? Uh, As well as being 100% your unique self. Uh, Aquarians are very happy with being the alien of the friend group. So if you have wanted to express yourself in a certain way, but always were afraid of getting judged or how people would see you, this is the time where you set your intention on to being more authentically you. Be yourself, be bold, take up space, um, be okay to feel a little alien, right? And then again, be rational and allow things to develop without you behind the steering wheel so much. All right, so with all of that being said, change is happening. There's a bunch, a bunch of change that's going to happen, um, especially with this card here, open up to change. Sometimes we're reluctant to let the change happen. Sometimes we hold on too tightly to the things we know because we're afraid of the unknown. But again, this is the perfect opportunity to just be like, you know what? Let's just see what happens. (laughs) Let's go with it. And then bring love into the situation. This to me is all about self-love, self-care, the love of what you do. Um, If things aren't necessarily, they haven't been, you know, all rainbows and butterflies for you, this is the time to focus a little bit more on how you can bring back that feeling and how you can focus on creating a safe space for you in this next phase. All right, let's see what the tarot cards have to say. Okay, we're using the Zodiac Tarot, and the first card is going to be how best to utilize this new moon energy, and we have, oh my, we have the Six of Pentacles here. Interesting, and how this is being shown as giving and receiving. We were talking about that as well, being charitable, and again, this can be toward yourself, This could be toward other people, Um, but this is also a great sign of uh, stability, of harmony, of balance. So if you have not found your footing, haven't found that balance, this is the time to focus on getting there. Set your intentions to be a little bit more stable, to set your intentions to be more grounded, have balance with your work and social life, home life, um, and as well as Again, if you have not been the type of person that allows people to give to you, if you have a hard time opening up to receiving, this is a reminder that this is the time to do so. You can receive as much as you give. Again, it's that equal balance that we're talking about here. We have the Taurus sign. So again, we're talking about stability, finances, all of those things play a part with this energy. So when you're going through your intentions and setting your goals, this might be something to focus on. Where are you seeing the most out of balance areas in your life? Is it your work and social life? Is it that you need more balance with keeping a schedule, with your finances, with, um, you know, being around socially with your family, friends, all of that Focus on what seems most out of balance and figure out how to bring harmony back into that. And again, we're talking about charitable things here. So if you're in a position to give your time and or money, patience, all of that to other people who need it, this would be a fantastic opportunity to do so. And again, if you are somebody who would benefit from somebody else's time, money, um, uh, uh, friendship, let's say community, reach out for help and be okay with allowing yourself to receive. Because most of the time, if you are a giver, you feel guilty to receive, right? So if you're struggling, reach out to your trusted people to give you that, uh, what you need 
All right. So there's a lot here. I love this. There's There's got to be some sort of even exchange as well, what I'm seeing as far as your goals go and your intentions. Remember law of attraction too. If you're somebody who's into that and manifesting, uh, that might be out of balance for you as well. If you're focusing on the wrong thing. So if you keep doubting yourself or doubting your skills or your abilities, you need to get that back into balance and harmony and know that Again, like law of attraction, a like attracts like, negative attracts negative. So if you're having that exchange going on, it's not going to benefit you. You have to believe in your skill set, believe in yourself and nurture yourself in order for you to uh, create that which what you want to put out into the world. Okay, next up is any advice the cards want to give. And we've got... Queen of Pentacles. Okay. I love this. So Queen of Pentacles is very much a motherly energy. So the advice here is to lean into that. Mother yourself. Nurture yourself. Spend time with the self-care routines that maybe you haven't been able to get to in a while. Take an hour to yourself and uh, use that hour to do your intentions, to, you know, put on a face mask, your movie or your uh, songs that you like to listen to, um, um, ebook, not an ebook. Oh my gosh, I sound so old. <laughs> Audible. <laughs> uh, read, uh, take a bath, face mask, nails, um, eat, just meditate, be in the quiet. But all of those things constitute a self-care, eating your favorite meal, cooking for yourself, nourishing not only your mind, but your body, um, or uh, spend some time with your inner child as well. So maybe this is a good time for healing, all of that. Ground yourself with this earth energy. Um, So if you are needing to spend some time with your inner child, maybe it's doing a puzzle, coloring, um, playing with your kids' toys with them. Uh, there's a lot of things to nurture your inner child and this for whatever reason is coming to me now where that might be important for a lot of you Um, but mother yourself is coming through loud and clear here and I love this because the new moon is a fantastic awesome time for some self-care same with the full moon but new moon is like let's get our mind right and our body right and set those goals and intentions first and foremost, that our bodies matter, our minds matter, and we tell the universe and ourselves that by doing special things for them. So, you know, again, making your favorite meal, taking time out for yourself, reading your favorite book, et cetera, et cetera. There's lots of different ways that constitute self-care. So find the one that works best for you. Um, And again, if you are in an opportunity where you can be generous and charitable to other people, the queen of pentacles, she loves to be generous. So that's a clear uh, sign, a message that wants to come through is charity Um, And again, doesn't necessarily have to be other people. It can just be for yourself too. If you've not been uh, practicing all of that for yourself, self-care, love, nurturing, all of that is charity for yourself too. Okay, let's go deeper with some Oracle cards. We've got the Heavenly Bodies Oracle deck here. Astrology deck, we've got Uranus. Love it. So erratically change. Okay, so first of all, there's going to be a huge change here. There's a huge shift happening, new beginnings everywhere. And don't be afraid if things are suddenly falling out. So, you know, if things are out of your control, right, that are falling away, that's for your benefit. So don't be terrified. Now, I can't say that that is an all-encompassing thing. But if you already know that, like, oh, you're done with this job, and you're not happy there, and then all of a sudden you get the message that, oh, you know, your store is closing down and, you know, it's out of your control, and you just suddenly happen to get a recommendation to work at another place, that's a clear sign that change is happening for your, your good, right? 
So I just want to use that example there. Um, but radical change is happening. New beginnings are happening. And this again is for you to just kind of ride the wave and allow it to happen and know that things will always change. So don't get too hung up on the technicalities of it, right? Hopefully that makes sense. Next we have the fixed sign, which again, Aquarius energy here, stability, persistence, loyalty, and dependability. So we're going to focus on getting stable with a lot of our uh, situations, being persistent with creating the world in which we want to be in, being loyal to our friends and family that we trust and love. And then we have the moon here. So satisfy emotional needs, nurture self and others. Don't need to go into more detail than that. Then we have the air sign here. Oh my gosh, I love it. So open-mindedness, objectivity, and learning. And your last uh, astro here is earth. More earth energy. I love it. And again, that Taurus energy coming through as well. Persistence, patience, and practicality. So again, maybe think, maybe looking at things in a more practical way here. Uh, listing your goals out and setting your intentions in a practical way. But in a way that is thinking outside the box. So, you know, it's not like you can just have the intention of going to the moon, but what can you do <laughs> practically that is in the same vein? Well, you can study it. You can, you know, X, Y, Z. I'm not going <laughs> to go into a tangent, but you know what I'm trying to get at. All right. Next up, we have the Astro Souls deck. And first up, we've got Taurus. <laughs> so more stability, patience, uh, persistence, focusing on material things, um, getting your finances right. <laughs> and then we have the Palace Athene. So uh, inner wisdom. I love how these look. Ah, so pretty. So trust your inner wisdom. Trust that you know what you're doing. Um, trust that your past experiences have got you to where you are today. So you have the wisdom within you to set those goals, to set those intentions and do what's right for you and to allow yourself to kind of ride this wave of change. And then we have Aquarius. Well, we already know about that. I love that confirmation there. And Neptune, Piscean energy. So inspiration, dreams, spirituality, and delusion. Well, we're not going to get caught up in delusion, but what we are going to do is have some time to connect with our spirituality, this new moon. Pay attention to your dreams to see if any messages come through, any symbols or signs that you see that relate to what you're going through or what you need to look forward to. And next up, we have the Queen of the Moon Oracle. We've got self-reflection. This is a perfect time for that. Again, what do we need to do to let the past go and in order to move forward? How do we get to a place where we can set good goals? How do we get in balance and in harmony? Next, we have faith. Have faith in the process. Have faith in yourself, in your um, skill set, in your spirituality, all of the above. Growth. I love this. So we're focusing on growth as well. Again, new opportunities for all of these things. When there's change, there's always going to be growth. Um, whether it is in the midst of a dark time or a very sunny, bright time, there's always growth when change happens. Perspective. Then we have abundance. Focus on obtaining that abundance. And again, abundance is not always uh, material things or money. It's also being grateful and being thankful for what you already have, knowing that your life is full of abundance in different ways. Relationships, having a roof over your head, food in your belly, all of those things constitute with abundance. And your last queen of the moon, we have wisdom. Again, Focusing on your inner wisdom, what you already know will take you to the top here. You are um, piling upon piling your knowledge. And so you're just climbing the ladder to success with already what with all with the knowledge that you already know. Tongue tied. All right. Next up, we've got the Star Codes Astro deck and we have Jupiter Abundance. Focus on that. Uh law of attraction. Again, moon perception. We kind of talked about that. Figure out which way um, you can think about your situation. If you're having a hard time, things will get better. Um, perspective is going to be uh, a, a good thing to kind of 
play around with this new moon. So again, perception, how do you see the situation? How do you see yourself? Get in tune with your emotions. But again, with this new moon in Aquarius, this might be a good time if you're overly emotional to detach a little bit. So again, play around with it. See what works best for you because you are going to know what you need more than anybody else. And then we have Vesta Hearth. Focus on your home, your stability, feeling comforted and um, nurtured. Then we have solar flares, activate, get ready to go and activate on those intentions and goals settings that you are doing. This is awesome. I love it. Okay. So activation, you're, you got to light that fire underneath your bum. <laughs> All those goals, be very pragmatic with them. Set uh, intentions that like you can maybe check off a list if you're having a hard time. Um, don't make them very unobtainable goals. Do uh, do some little ones, like things that you're ready and able to achieve maybe in the week, in a month, um, and then get some more loftier goals there to maybe keep your focus, but know that you can obtain them over time. So it's always good to have like little things on your list that you can check off easily to keep you motivated and then have loftier goals uh, lower on the list. So that way you can still be focused and work toward them day by day. But having just like sometimes when I write a list, I uh, or like a to do list, right? I'll write things that I know I'm going to easily check off like, OK, get up, make coffee, done instant check off and then you're motivated to keep going and doing the rest of your list. All right, next up we've got Neptune vision. Keep your clear vision ahead. And again, we have Neptune in another card here. Listen to your dreams, listen to your intuition. And then we have North node focus on the future. Again, we're not focusing on the past. We're leaving that behind. We're focusing on where we're moving toward in the future. Okay, next cards, we have your herbal astrology here and we have Yarrow harmony. Ugh, done. Love it. Next up, we've got psilocybin and it's commune or commune. So get your trusted people around, have um, the environment be very trusting, loving, have fun with them, hang out with them, talk things through. Then we have lines made leadership and look at those scales. Love that. So how do you want to lead your life? Where do you want to go? Only you can lead yourself, right? Um, you can have goals and aspirations, but if you are not working toward leading yourself there, you're going to be stuck. So be actively leading yourself. And then we have ayahuasca. So rebirth, change, a new you, a transition. All righty. And then we have the anatomy of the witch here. First up, we have birth. Again, change, new you, rebirth. Love this. Then we have heal. So talking about healing, talking about focusing on um, healing your inner child, healing the past so you can move forward to the future. This is going to be a time that maybe you're focusing more on healing than you are anything else. And that's okay. This is a new phase in a brand new cycle, brand new start, brand new lunar year. So whatever is going to help you be the best you, that's what you should focus on. Self-care is healing as well. And last up, but not least, we have the serpent. I'm going to read you from the book. So keywords, primal self, intuition, and creatrix. So learn to trust your gut. Practice both stillness and movement. For stillness, focus on your breath, relax, quiet your mind and body. Take in the world around you without reacting. Just watch. Then begin to move slowly and be sensuous and present. Focus on how it feels and gently move and stretch different parts of your body. Breathe. So focus on your intuition, listen to your gut and, you know, know that you are a strong, independent snake <laughs> and you are powerful. I love it. And last cards here are going to be the Oracle of the Witch here to see if any rituals were recommended by the cards here. So we've got mother fulfillment, mother yourself, nurture yourself. Oh, I love that. Next up, we've got familiar spirits. So assistance, ask for help should you need it. Don't be afraid to ask for assistance. People are going to want to be there for you because I guarantee you they know that you've been there for them. They would love to reciprocate. 
Next, we have Grimoire Authenticity. Be your true self. Be as alien as you need to be. We all are unique and we all deserve to shine. And your last card here is Cures and Remedies Healing. So yeah, there's definitely going to be some acts of healing going on this new moon. So hopefully this made sense. Hopefully this resonated. Let me know if you enjoy these full and new moon readings. I sure do. I think they give a lot of insight as to maybe what we as the collective are going through or feeling and what to maybe look out for or expect. So let me know all your thoughts down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I love you and I like you. And with all that being said, if you have not done so already, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell on your way out of this video. That way you will never miss an upload from me. Thank you again, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.